time is it? Let me just look at my nope. It is 2016, son. See this fossil? Boom. On the ground now. What do we got today? It's 2016. You need a smartwatch. Today, Apple Watch Series 2. Let's unbox it. Best part about any Apple product right here. Oh. Boom. Just fell off like that. I love unwrapping Apple plastic. This box is really cool, and I wish they would do this with the Mac and stuff like this. You see, Apple Watch. But it tells you what watch you bought, with what band, what size. I mean, it just is amazing. I wish it said, like, MacBook Pro 2016 with touch bar. 2.8 gigahertz, you know, stuff like that. And then everything else in the box is clean. Ooh. So here you have your watch case, and this is very nice. I really like this. I'm gonna pull the tab. You want me to pull the tab? I'm gonna pull the tab. Uh, I'm right-handed, and I'm using my left hand. Ooh, oh, that is clean Apple logo. I really love this case. Oh my god, you're really paying for a premium here when you get a steel watch. Let me tell you. Okay, okay, so this is really cool. Designed by Apple in California. So in the box, you have, you know, your Apple stickers, your manual and stuff. But you also have your watch band. And that feels a lot more silicone-y than I thought it would. I thought it would be more of a rubber, but that is more of a silicone. So it's really cool that they put the band in here and not, you know, in there. That's um, definitely unique. I haven't seen that before. In the bottom, you got your power brick for the iPhone that nobody uses because we all use an iPad charger. And then a lightning cable, which is always nice to have, as well as your little magnetic charge cable. So that is not a lightning cable, my bad. That's a magnetic charge cable. I was wondering, I'm like, why would there be a lightning cable in here? There's no lightning port on the Apple Watch, only a diagnostic port. Okay, so I guess this is an extra band, because here's the band itself, or it's, I thought it would be. Here's the watch. I'm the world's greatest detective. Okay, so this one's smaller, and that's why they included it too. I was wondering, like, what? It, it's smaller, so if you have a smaller wrist or something, there you go. So, you got this nice watch, you know, nice band, nice case. What is Apple really doing here? I feel like they are whining and dining you to an extreme. Um, they definitely want to wind and dine you because you are paying a premium for this watch and it's not a Rolex, it's not even a Fossil, which is probably one of the best, cheapest watches, um, in my opinion. So they're definitely whining and dining you. They want you to feel like you just bought a Rolex. Um, I bought the Space Black, or whatever it's called, Stainless Steel Sport Band because I wanted the Stainless Steel. But I also did not want to pay $1,000 for the regular stainless steel band, and so I bought one on Amazon. And so this is the cheapest I could get with the stainless steel and space black. I really like it, um, the band. It's great for going to be swimming. This will probably be my swimming band, and then the stainless steel for Amazon will probably be my all-time band. You can see on the back the sensors and it says Series 2 on it, Apple Watch, it is waterproof. That's what I really like about this watch, 50 meters waterproof is a huge engineering, probably one of Apple's best of the year besides the W1 chip, in my opinion. I think it's just a huge breakthrough to have like speakers, a diagnostic port, all these different sensors and yet it's still 50 meters waterproof, that's amazing to me. Thank you guys for watching, let me know if you do have an Apple Watch, what you think about it, and yeah, let me know. Peace out, guys.